So you might be in a situation where for some reason your particular copy and paste is just not working inside of your Android phone. Now the first thing I recommend understanding is that if you're copying and pasting text and things like that, you're probably going to be fine. But you probably, if you're copying like images and videos and stuff, it's probably not always going to work. So keep that in mind. Now number one, if you're going to copy text, the main thing you're going to want to do, you know, at any point is you just want to hold down on text. So what you can do is on any page, you can just hold down on text like this and you can maneuver around and you can kind of, you know, select the amount of text that you basically want. Now you should be able to see a copy button right up here. If you see this copy button, all you want to do is go and click on copy and that will allow you to copy that particular text to the keyboard. If you want to paste, you click right here, you click on paste and you click right here again and you should be able to paste that text. Now a reason why that may not be happening for you or may not be working for you is because you might be copying text in an area that doesn't allow you to copy text in. So there are some applications you can see I'm on the Google Play Store. If I hold down this text right here, as you can see, it's not allowing me to copy it. So if it's an area like the Play Store, if it's something like that, some of these applications do not allow you to copy text. Same thing with Instagram, I think, and maybe even Twitter. You aren't really able to like copy text. If you want to, you can go through, take a screenshot, and then copy the text from the screenshot. I think that's one way you can do it. But that's just one thing to understand. If you're copying text that should be copyable, you may just want to restart your phone. Sometimes it's as easy as just restarting your device and then going down that direction. So what you can do is you can hold down the side button here and you can click just the restart your power button, restart the phone button. And that might end up fixing the problem for you. You can also try updating your Android phone as well. For a lot of people, that might be all you're going to have to do. And that's another thing you can try doing as well. So those are some ways to go and fix this problem. Hopefully it's end up fixing it for you. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.